Summer's barely begun and already police in the town of Swampscott have made seven water rescues. Two happened this weekend and as Stephanie Lydon tells us, they involved a pair of brothers who were uniquely qualified to help beachgoers in distress. As he does most summer days, Eric Brown was riding his skateboard Sunday along King's Beach in Swampscott. What were the conditions like? Just like they are now. Beautiful. You couldn't go wrong. Which is no doubt what a couple floating on a raft was thinking. When the wind picked up and started carrying them out to sea. Officer Kevin Reen was on patrol when the 911 call came in. I run down the boardwalk and the stairs and then down under the sand. The couple had jumped off the raft and was trying but failing to get to shore. The male that was on the raft was trying to hold the female up, but every time he went under, he had to let her go so he could come up and get air. I discarded my, some of my uniform and, uh, and went to go help. So. You swam out there? Yes. It was windy. Uh, there's a little bit of white cap, but I think that was the, it wasn't anything overly aggressive or, or concerning. Um, for you? For me, I, I knew I could get to them. The rescue here at Kings Beach came one day after a family on kayaks and a paddleboard got caught too far from shore. And they had two little seven-year-olds on, on a kayak, and they were right up close to the rocks where there are some large rocks, and then just beyond those rocks, right out into the open water. Officer Brendan Rehn helped get the family to safety on board the Harbor Master's boat. Brendan Rehn is Kevin's brother. Not just brothers in blue, brothers in life. They grew up swimming in these waters and now use them to train for triathlons. Who swims faster? He does. <laughs> That's why he went in the water yesterday. Ocean swimming is part of their daily routine. Helping people is part of the job. And although they're well trained, as we head into the July 4th holiday, They'd rather people along any stretch of coastline stay safe. Well, this, if anything, serves as a really good reminder that even in the early part of this beach season that we have, things can change so quickly. It just takes a couple minutes to figure out, okay, the tide's going out with a strong offshore wind, and if I get stuck on a raft, then I'm going for a ride. That could end in a call for help. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News. Swampscott police say one of the most memorable rescues this summer happened when a woman on a paddleboard called for help on her Apple Watch.